a great pleasure. This is our second podcast we are we are having now. Uh, it's my great pleasure to introduce to students, actually graduates from our medical university, Wrocław Medical University. Uh, and first, I need to start by saying big thank you for you guys uh, to come here to decide to leave your job because as far as I know, you are just started. So uh, many thanks for coming and apologies that uh, we set up this uh, interview, this podcast only today, not uh, two or three months before. But anyway, so again, thanks for coming. So we have international students. We have Hanya, uh, we have Odera. Uh, uh, they are great guys, Hanya. And I remember this very well set up the whole in, uh, international day for students. Uh, I remember my first impression. I was uh, there with my grandson and uh, I was really impressed. I am really impressed. I was really impressed because... Uh, of their atmosphere because of uh, I felt that these guys are really proud of being part of medical university so big thank you they will introduce themselves in a second or there is uh, uh, our good friend and uh, he's a specialist in social media so I'm sure that he will critically review the podcast afterwards and uh, we will I'm not sure whether he will regret or not but anyway so we have a good chance to talk but first tell us uh, and uh, the audience asks a little of yourself, and then we start talking. Of course. Hi, um, my name is Hanya. Um, I graduated um, this year, um, and I was, for the last two years of my studies, the president of the International Student Council. Um, I originally um, grew up in Poland for the first six years of my life, and then I went to Germany and the UK. And then, um, funny enough, back to Wrocław to complete my studies. And this is Ireland now where you are. And now I'm in Ireland. Yeah. And, now and you are Germany, yes? Yes. In I'm Germany, currently yeah. in Germany. Really. Okay, so please. So, hello. My name is Odera. I am the co-founder of Clean Up Odra, as well as the so-called social media expert. Um, <laughs> I am currently stationed in Germany, and I am planning on pursuing a career in cardiology. Uh, Which center? Yeah. By the way, I declare personal conflict of interest. Which center in Germany? I'm currently at the Erzgebirgs Klinikum Wannerberg on the Saxon. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I am originally from Nigeria, born in the United States, grew up in Vienna and Rome, and now in Germany. Quite a long story. Okay, okay so welcome back to Wrocław. Thank you very After much. After your graduation. First of all, congratulations. Uh, an obvious question is, uh, what made you choosing selecting Wrocław to study to spend six years of your life with us here a brief comments and uh, maybe some positive negative opinions how did it go tell me um so to be quite honest um I wasn't I never expected to study in Wrocław um all I knew when I was back in high school was that I would want to study medicine and that nothing else would just sit quite right with me. And when I finished high school in the UK, I got offers from amazing universities, Edinburgh, but it was just not for medicine. And this was when my parents um, came across that English division exists and they um, pitched this idea to me. And I wasn't quite sure, but um, it turned out that this advice they gave me would have been one of the best ones in my life. Um I chose Wrocław because of the long-standing tradition. Have you ever been to Wrocław before? Oh, I lived here for six years uh, when I was a little child. Oh. I know, I knew this. I knew the city. Yeah, um, I was aware of the city, so it wasn't my first time being here. Um, but and also the idea that I study in this city where I lived, um, but in a multicultural environment. Um, in the best universe, medical university in Poland was very feeling for me. Well, great. So, Hania, with uh, some history from very, very young childhood-ish. Mm -hmm. So, what about you? Well, for me, the great impetus for me to come to Wrocław was actually family. Uh, I am not the first Mba to walk Wrocław Medical University's halls. I'm actually the second. Uh, I'm following in the footsteps of my elder brother who is three years older than me and is also a graduate from our university. Did he like it? Yes. I'm sure he did. He did. Otherwise, he would always... That's the reason that I'm here. Yeah. Convince you not to come. Exactly. 
So um, what is he now? He's currently in Potsdam doing right. orthopedic surgery. Yeah. Okay. So uh, with some background, uh, how did you like all these six years? Uh, uh, some comments for perhaps many people will see it in the future. For us, it's also important to know what to, what are your impressions over the last six years you had here? Good pros and cons, uh, nice and bad days. I'm sure that you can, you can cover. We only have 20, 20 something minutes, but I'm sure that, that uh, you tell us fascinating stories. Um, I have a lot of positive memories from Brotsov. Um, to start off, maybe the long nights of studying with my friends. Um, we would start studying um, after classes and continue to study until midnight sometimes and just to revise microbiology, pharmacology. And um, it was a kind of the moments where we are absolutely productive, but we still were able to laugh and remember everything with um, some Selim mnemonics. And um, looking back, it was really those moments of shared struggle um, but support that made everything feel lighter for me. Um, so, and then following the whole, after that in fifth year, when I became the president of the International Student Council, this, this was one of the best moments in Wrocław. Yes. Yeah. I was, I was, I tended to ask you this question. What about this international students, this group of people who are working together? Uh, sorry, you will, you will come mm -hmm. next. Don't worry. Uh, Yes. Do you see being uh, treated in a treated in a way, taking the position as a uh, similar to Polish students uh, uh, regarding your activities, uh, the level of education, kind of uh, the approach from our? We want to make sure that you are integral part of the university, integral part of the community. So we do our best to improve it. And so your experience with this international student group, this selected people, this is very, very valid. So please comment. Um, I would say that I saw a massive progress from when I started to when I finished of how much we were actually included. Um, ever since we, um, a Professor Newbar is a vice dean, I really feel we're being heard. We're being included in everything. Like there isn't the co biggest conferences are in London only in Polish, they're, they're also in English. So we see the effort that you are also doing to include us. And there are many students in this group who don't speak Polish. And um, there are plenty of opportunities. Um, even things that Odara created with Clean Up Odra, this is an opportunity for these people to engage in extracurricular um, activities and then all the student associations that we have yeah, I would say that. Okay, so if I can pick up the phone, not to forget about the clean up Odra uh, involvement, but I'm sure that you tell us yourself about yeah, it. So that's exactly, I would want to agree with Hanya on what she says. Um, coming in from first year, the difference from graduation is profound, truly. Um, when we When I first started here, I sometimes felt like I was unsure whether or not certain activities were welcoming me um what that's, is it? that's very important for me to know yeah when i began i did not speak polish i had been living in poland for do you now now i can speak a little, little more of the much little. Little. so poland is still bardzo trudne ale ale okay. system oh okay, my get, yeah okay i can see it's pretty fluent yeah with some accent which is good yeah um, for example, one of the things that I always wanted to do was the Medici Cantanti. As someone who comes from Rome and was always in the choir there, I felt like that was something that I wanted to pursue. But I was unsure if my low Polish level would have allowed me to pursue something like that. So even though that was a push for me to create my own organizations, like the informal WMU African Students Association and other things, that I don't I don't have that feeling anymore. When thanks to Hanya for one, and thanks to the complete change in atmosphere as well as from the faculty, he also knows about what Hanya for her involvement in the Senate for a couple of years, yeah. and uh, that was really great because she represented the English students there, which was very important for us. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately. 
uh, living in Poland, still English is not that, uh, well, I'm not saying barrier, but uh, mm-hmm. the language yeah. we, we speak during the Senate is uh, Polish, but uh, she understands, uh, uh, if I'm correct, Polish quite well. So, uh, uh, but she represents uh, some part, important part of student group during the Senate uh, uh, debates, etc. So I'm glad that you, you mentioned, and Professor Neubauer is a uh, key person uh, who develops the whole story. Yeah? And thus, I wanted to also point out another example that really impressed me. I was recently an attendant of the Young Biomedical Researchers meeting that was held after the conference. And as I was sitting there, I was immediately introduced to all of these people in multiple languages in a way that even though now I don't require as much Polish help as I used to, I was incredibly impressed at the effort that was put into that because even though I was coming as a sixth year student, someone who was in their first year who maybe has not had all of their classes with Pani Klamut yet, wouldn't have felt as comfortable perhaps just signing up. But once they would have been there, they would have known that this is a space for international students and we are recognized as well. Extremely important. I always wanted English is not becoming a barrier. It's just a communication. So great that you mentioned this. And I am really glad that you see the development over the last couple of years. Could I also mention one more thing? Yeah. Just the, the fact that we're sitting right now here in this room and that you took your time to speak with us is... It just shows that no, you are... It's my pleasure. So you are doing it. It is, a, it is such really, an honor for us. Yeah, it is such a real honor. honor. Thank you for this. But uh, I am really glad. And as I said, I started with a big thank you that you come, you left your job, you just started, and you decided to return and tell us about yourself. One issue, tell us about this cleanup, uh, Odra thing, because this is really something people know, need to know. Yes, so Cleanup Odra is a eco-social organization that was founded by the students, for the students, and for the environment. So what we do is that we have one cleanup a month where we usually beginning at campus, where we simply come together and we pick up trash. That's really is this still ongoing going once you're in Germany? Absolutely still on will be. So there is... Yes, uh, we have some new leaders that have okay. actually been published. It was for Audra and it was for us. Yeah. And I did not start this by myself. I did this with Natalia Hiller and Helena Gabeska. So I am not going to take all of the credit for that. And that is also the reason why all three of us were sent to Kharkov for the Best Foreign Students um, Award, which I'm very proud to announce that, Congratulations. We, that we won the special award. That yeah, I know, I know. It's, we, we promoted this, but that, as I'm saying, it's, that was wealthy to, to show that this is still ongoing. So thank you for the project. Uh, tell me, please, uh, what is, uh, well, whether you feel well educated, because now you are in different countries, mm-hmm. you see different environment, Ireland, Germany, highly competitive, particularly in the medical field. Mm-hmm. So it's, 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 it's really competitive business. I know it. I spent a couple of years in the UK. So could you tell us, do you feel well prepared and ready after six years, uh, spending here and after all the education uh, you received or there are some areas we can still develop. How do you feel now? Mm, I feel quite um, confident in the foundation that I received from Brunswick Medical University. Um, Things that I particularly liked was that we started clinical classes in third year and this was very early on and then there was a build up on this foundation. So that meant that when I graduated, I felt very confident taking patients' histories, approaching a patient and thinking in a structured way. And um, now in every day, I kind of have a differential diagnosis in mind and can work from there. Um, when it comes to practical teaching, we had that also in the simulation center and then onwards uh, with patients. Um, I particularly really enjoyed simulation classes and maybe this is something that it would be lonely to have more in the future, but I think there is... There is a plan, yes, there is a plan not only uh, for the medical faculty, but also from the dentistry as well. So we're building us, and also, uh, I tell you in a second about the project, a fascinating project, but it's not me to, to, to talk, but you to talk. 
to me. So uh, <laughs> anyway, so we will develop this, uh, yeah. all these new tools, all this uh, virtual uh, reality, all these things. Uh, we, we slowly and steadily, this is natural. So, so you feel pretty confident to make long story short. Yes. Okay. What about you? I have... Ariology is pretty challenging. Yes. yes. I declare conflict of interest. I feel extremely, extremely prepared. I was one of the students that went to Annaberg in October and has been working in that hospital since as part of the foreign practical year program. And I have to say that it, it's been invaluable because it means that what I'm currently doing is in parts something that I've been doing already for approximately nine months. The, the opportunities that the university gives us to prepare ourselves in not just theoretical knowledge, but also practical knowledge, as Anya said before, is myriad and varied. We have our extracurricular associations, like the, cardioli like the cardiology association that I was a part of, where we have sim center simulations, we have theoretical lectures from professors. We have students that are teaching other students about things that we feel very passionately about. And through all of those processes, we're able to build that foundation that makes someone feel like not just a doctor, but someone that can actually help their patient. Well, great to know that uh, all your uh, views and experience can make me extremely happy what we are doing. I'm never happy with, with, the, with the level what we are doing. But anyway, that's my bad character. But uh, uh, first of all, I again, I would like to reiterate that uh, from my side, very, very big thank you. Uh, at the end, I would like you to say a few words. What you, what you want to say now to those who will be listening to us? Uh, uh, regarding your six years of staying here, regarding your future plans, whatever is fine, please do it now. And uh, as we have only 20 minutes, we need to uh, be ready to say thank you. But uh, it's up to you to say whatever you want. Um, maybe I could just say that the last six years have been filled with challenges, with um, lots of laughter, with joy. And at times, a lot of fear. And I would say that Brotsu Medical University um, gave me the chance to um, improve as a person, to be, become a doctor, and I will be forever thankful for that. So improvement. Yourself, you feel that uh, that it was a chance to, to really Absolutely. improve yourself. So you see your development over this year. Yes. Great. I and think I know now who I am. Young people, young talented people, great. And... You know, there... Well, I would say to anyone who's thinking of applying that my personal experience has been of someone who came here as a 17-year-old. I was a child when I came here. I couldn't open a bank account and I couldn't drive a car. And I will be... now I can, yes. But a lot of that has changed over the six years. And a lot of that is also thanks to the support that you get here at this university. The... The endeavors that one can take in life are often dotted by risk. And the feeling, feeling the opportunity to do something new is risky and it's scary. But even here now, even during the process of approbation and getting our diploma recognized in other countries, the university is constantly by our side and helping us. So I would say if you are an entrepreneur, who wants to stretch their wings and maybe make something new, that also is a place for you. So best advice is meant we can ever have from you both. You are really fantastic, young, talented people, whole life in front of you. So I keep my fingers crossed. I wish you all the best. I'm really very proud that you decided to stay with us for six years. You don't regret this. No. I hope that if, if, if you did, you have mentioned it now, but but it's good that that, uh, that you have not. Mm. So once again, thanks for coming. Congratulations. You have a bright future. You are fantastic young people, and it is only my pleasure that you join me today. So once again, thank you very much, and uh, that's it for today. <laughs>